Hand Sight uses infrared reflectance sensors to detect whether or not the fingers are touching our surface, as well as how dark or bright that surface is. We give tactile feedback using a separate vibration motor for each finger. A custom-designed 3D printed case holds the sensors and motors in place at the fingertips. Like the iPhone 5, parts are matched for best fit. Four wires are soldered to the IR reflectance sensor, joining it to the case bottom before snapping together the case top and vibration motor. This is done for each finger. We also added two ultrasonic rangefinders, which can detect obstacles and help with navigation. Our final prototype runs off of a 9-volt battery and uses a Bluetooth module to communicate with computers and smartphones. We built a smartphone app that can help visualize what the sensors are seeing and calibrate the system for different ambient light situations. It can also send commands to our device to select between several different modes. In the shape detection mode, the motors vibrate whenever the corresponding finger sensor is touching a dark surface. It's possible to use that feedback to feel and identify printed shapes with no other tactile indication. This mode can easily be inverted to help identify white shapes on a black surface. Squiggly. Understanding this tactile feedback takes lots of practice, at least for those of us not used to seeing with our fingers. Star. The sensors can also recognize different shades of gray and change the intensity of the vibration so that it becomes possible to feel the texture of an image. The white cane is by far the most common navigation tool used by the visually impaired, and it has a wide range of uses. It can help users follow hallways and avoid obstacles, and it provides simple tactile feedback for changes in the floor or ground texture. Our device also helps users to follow hallways and avoid obstacles, but it is much smaller and can easily detect objects above ground level. It uses the ultrasonic rangefinders to detect nearby surfaces and gives feedback by changing the intensity of vibrations at the fingertips. Here, Lee knows to raise his hand before he touches the elevator, because he feels that the wall is near. Ah. Typing can be done using multi-finger touch combinations, with tactile feedback. 